Hello and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef and we're playing some more Project Zomboids today. I have been playing this a little bit off camera and uh, I've made quite a lot of changes actually. But uh, I found my book. I, I, I found my Master Craftman, Craft Person's book. Um, as you can see there, I've also made some stuff so I've almost leveled that up. So what I'm going to do here, actually, to show you what it takes, what it took me to find that book, is I'm going to cut away from Project Zomboid here and show you just quickly um, what I had to do to get that book. Hello, this is Future Son of Mogaf. As instructed previously in my video, I just wanted to take a little bit of time out to show you what it took for me to get that uh, master carpentry book. So I found this great little website for the mapping of the world in Project Zomboid. Uh, just either just Google Project Zomboid map or type, what is that, map.projectzomboid.com into the, uh, you know, into your browser of choice. So this is where I am. This is where I've been sleeping, and that's the smaller warehouse, and this is where I've got the wall. The cars are here currently. And what I did is I found a car, and I drove it up here, round here, onto the main highway. I then drove it, you see it's a pretty big world, all the way along there, and I went up here, and I turned right, and I went up there, and then I drove it, all the way up here to the bookstore that's there didn't find what I was looking for so I slept there like overnight and regassed um uh th there's a gas station up there somewhere uh yeah I can't remember exactly where but I found some gas and regassed the car and then I drove all the way back down here and then I turned left went along there turned right went all the way down here all the way round here then I turned left again went all the way up there and then I came round here to the main street and then came right down here to there Eng Enigma Books and Mendy's Eatery if I zoom right in you can see lots of bookshelves there so I parked about here opened this door checked that bookshelf there and it was there it was the first bookshelf I checked. So I grabbed it and I grabbed a couple of other books and then the alarm went off. So I panicked and ran because there was like 20 zombies all in a line down here. Jumped in the car and drove all the way back, all the way up there. And then went down there, along here, all the way along there, all the way along there, back up there, all the way down here. And then, oh God, where's my house gone? We're, we're, oh yeah all the way along here look and then i cut in here right back to my home and then i went you know like say this is where i've been slept so that's what it took for me to find my uh carpentry book but i've got it now and we can return to uh the regularly scheduled programming okay we're back with the actual project zomboid so you can see i've got myself a pet bed that's a fancy bed this is a simple bed and what I'm going to do is eventually I'll make some stuff and, um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll make this place up right nice. Just going to check my inventory and make sure I've got, I've got no food on me. Luckily, I've been looting a lot of food. So um, let's take some canned corn. It's not the best of foods, but it'll do. I need to repair my... Uh, my weapon quickly, so I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, sure, that. There you go. It's almost completely um, repaired now. There we go. Brilliant. Right. And I'm going to refill my water just in case. I'll show you what I've been doing outside. <clears throat> Oh, I need to re-equip my uh, bat. Oh, it's so annoying that it does that. So I found another bag. So I've got one bag on my back. 
and one bag in my second hand. <clears throat> so I'm just using this in the one hand. So what I did is I moved all the boxes out of there to here, look. And the books are all along here. These are all like skill books, and then these are sorted by beginner, intermediate, blah, blah, blah. This is all the electrical components that I've been pulling apart. This is just random kitchen gear, saucepans, bowls, mugs, that kind of thing. So I... Oh, oh. oh it, 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 it made a noise and it scared me, and I don't think there's anything in the rest of them, so I'm slowly working on that. And you may have noticed I... I that I've, I stole a bunch more fridges. So uh, that's going to be for my crops. When my crops are um, ready for harvesting, I'll have one fridge for each crop, which is needlessly excessive. But uh, th that's just the way I'm playing currently. So these aren't ready for picking yet. What I want to do is find myself some uh, some cooking things so I can't move um, actual cookers yet so I want to try and find some barbecues there's two types of barbecue a wood burning barbecue I'm drowsy already all right I'll go sleep and then I'll do the barbecue stuff yeah there's a wood burning barbecue and uh, one that uses propane so, I'll have a sleep. What is in that bag? Just nonsense. I'll have to sort that out. So, I'll have a sleep. All right, he, he needs to walk there to sleep. I'm not sure why, but... And it sounds horrible outside. Fan-bloody-tastic. Means I'm going to get drenched when I go outside. Let me get some food. Uh, Just open one. So, yeah, I'm going to be looting food, and I'm looking for, um, looking for barbecues while I'm out there. This is going to be bloody horrendous. Yeah, this is not great, is it? Look at it. It is watering my crops, though, so that's nice. Now... I found two cars as well. I've got keys for both of these cars, so that's kind of cool. Get rid of this zombie. Oh, I was just about to say, I've got used to this damping thing. And then I, uh, I screwed it up. So I think I saw a barbecue over here. No, I apparently didn't. All right. This isn't great. Being out in the rain is uh, not fantastic for your character. Because you can get, like, colds and things, and that's not awesome. Let me see what these guys have got. I've also been kind of gathering meds and things like that, so... What have we got? Uh, oh... Yeah, I want the to upgrade my electronic stuff, so I'll be having that. I'm also going to take these. Because I can disassemble this electronic equipment and up my electronic skill. Ooh, duct tape. I'll have some duct tape. I can come back for the tools. It's no big deal. Uh... <sighs> This is not great weather for this. Um, ooh, there's some good stuff in here. I'm surprised I haven't taken this sooner. <laughs> uh, I don't really need any of that. Ooh, wood glue. Always need wood glue. Always need duct tape. Duct tape just fixes everything, doesn't it? Oh, there's a sledgehammer in there. Girl, God damn it, I'm going to have to remember that. Sledgehammers are so useful. I, I had a modal appear up there, and it went away immediately. I'm not sure what that was all about. 
Oh, see, look, I just found another car key, so that's awesome. Uh, is there a light switch in here, maybe? I don't actually bloody see what I'm doing. Oh, there's a zombie going. I like the way it just jumps through, like, a window with broken glass. That hurts your character quite badly if you do that. I'll have an empty bottle, sure. Uh, so, I haven't even started to do what I said I wanted to do this episode. But I've kind of been thrown off by the... Uh, by the weather. It's kind of scuppered me a little bit because I don't want to be outside. What is that out there? Oh, it keeps disappearing. Don't need books, so I can ignore the books. Hello, welcome back. Uh, you may be asking yourself some questions at this point. Son of Bogaf, you might say. Why are you back in your home? You were out exploring just one second ago. Well, um, turns out that during an editing, I, the, the rest of the footage was unusable, and I didn't find that out until after I'd finished recording like a 45-minute episode. After the first 10 minutes, I've got nothing that's usable. So I'm just going to record this as an addendum, really, and cut it in. So my apologies to everyone who might be upset with that, but I have no idea why it happened. And it only happens as well. Weird recording like anomalies happen when I'm trying to put out an episode of Project Zomboid. But you didn't miss that much? Um... I scavenged a whole bunch of scavenged a whole bunch of food, and I've still got a bunch of stuff in my inventory. So what I'll do is I'll sort the stuff in my inventory out, and then I'll cut back, and uh, we'll you know do an actual episode. So um, yeah, look forward to that. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay, I'm back. It's uh, been about ten minutes, and my inventory is sorted. So. One of the things that may or may not make it into video is me going out looking for things I can use to cook. Now, my electrical skill isn't high enough for me to steal a cooker yet. So that's one thing I've been doing is looking for electrical equipment to disassemble. Which, in case you hadn't worked out already, increases your electrical skill which I will show you there. I think it has to be three, so I've got quite a bit to go yet. So I went out and looked for a barbecue. There's two types of barbecue, a wood-burning type and a gas-burning type, and we found a wood-burning type. So we are going to go out and look for the wood-burning type. No, no, we're not going to go out for the gas-burning type. I, I've forgotten what I'm doing. I've forgotten what I'm doing and what I'm saying and I'm an idiot and I don't like me much today. Zombies keep getting stuck in that little bit there, which is actually good because they can't damage anything in there. Uh, hello? Oh god, he went down in a single hit. Uh, no, nothing of value there. So... We scavenged a bunch of food, and we did find a wood-burning barbecue. Now, I think there's a bunch of houses along here that I have yet to fully loot. So we will nick the food. Like, here, look. I can grab that TV, like so, and I can dismantle it. And it gives you a bunch of random garbage, but it puts your electrical skill up. So it's uh, worth doing, for sure. What have we got? Nothing worth it in there. Nothing really worth it in there. So we're just going to um, go from house to house. Wow, this, this, this place really had nothing. Just to see if we can find some more food oh hello mr zombie man and we will um see if i can't find a gas barbecue 
So that gives me even more to do. Because then I've got to look for... Um, propane tanks. And stuff like that. So... We will... Um, See what we can find, shall we? It's uh, been a weird episode. A horrendously weird episode. I've been... Every time I try and record in this game, something goes wrong. Either I lose the audio, or I lose the video, or a combination. And it's absolutely bizarre to me. Oh. Oh. I need to uh, be quick if I'm going to loot this stuff. Oh, I'm absolutely going to eat the chocolate. Uh, and I want the bleach as well for cleanings. Right, I don't think there's anything else in here that we can use. Just going to have a quick check. Oh, I can dismantle those. Just slowly puts your... Uh, your abilities up. Bath towel, soap, vitamins. I keep getting soap. I, I something in. Oh, oh, was that a barbecue I saw? Oh, I totally got uh, got excited then. Boom! That's our barbecue. So, uh, can I just pick it up? Pick up. Okay, it might be too heavy. Remove propane tank. Did that go on the floor? It did. That's not entirely obvious. So... Uh, what does that say? Jorge Fork Guy Barbecue. There we go. The thing about that is it's super heavy. I can't believe I found that so quickly. It was right by my home the whole time. It really... It keeps making that noise, and it keeps bloody scaring me. You can see up there that I'm carrying a very heavy load, and it slows down your running. And, of course, running all the time makes you tired, so you can run less and slower. However, we got a barbecue, we got a barbecue. And I should go back for the propane tank. So now I've got the ability to cook food instead of just eating soup cold out of the can I can actually come out here and cook it up let me uh, pop that down next to the other barbecue boom I'll go back for the um, for the propane tank so mission accomplished really um, it's been so weird it's been so strange and it's going to be even stranger to edit. However, I will endeavour to do the best for the sake of my subscribers, who are very lovely people and I like very, very much. Don't don't read too much into that. I don't 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 like you that much. Just some. I'm going to go ahead and shut up and uh, concentrate on killing this guy. I love our, my my character's oh so fashionable wear. He's got black shoes, purple trousers, and a pink top. That's like spectacular fashion choices right there. Again, it's one of those things where you just, you know, deal with it. It's a zombie apocalypse. No, stamp. Stamp. Oh, God. Sometimes I'm good at that, and sometimes not. Stamp. Stamp. Stampy. Oh, my God. Stampy Jordison, that's what they call me. Um, they they don't call me that, and I wouldn't like anyone that did. So, oh god, that thing weighs a ton. No wonder I couldn't transport it along with the the actual barbecue. That's a very heavy load. So apparently, the propane tank is heavier than the barbecue. I guess that does make sense. Like barbecue, there isn't really much to barbecues, is it? Even a gas powered one, it's. A frame and a grill and a hood and some pipes. Where well, I guess the propane tank is compressed gas inside a reinforced cylinder. So it 
does sort of make sense that it's heavier. I guess you, it's just one of those things you don't think about until a video game comes along and forces you to do that. I I really want these crops to grow. They're taking forever. There we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Insert propane tank. Uh, barbecue info. So it's got fuel for 20 hours, which is great because it takes like a minute to cook something. And then what I'll do is I will grab one of these empty boxes from here. I've just got f like hanging around doing nothing. Pick it up. Oh, I need. Oh, Sometimes when you tell it to do things, it'll take the tools out of one bag, put it in your hand and use it. Other times it just goes, nah, you don't have it. You ain't got what it takes, buster. Boop, there you go, pick that up. There is a chance when you move these boxes they'll break, but with my carpentry skills so high, I can pretty much just make another one. It's not a big deal. So if I put that there, boop, I can put propane tanks that I find in there, and I'll just stack them up and stack them around. I could dunk them on the floor directly next to it, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, would, I don't want to do that either. So I am getting drowsy. I'm going to go out for another... I need to check the condition of that. It's all right. So I'm going to go out and just finish scavenge in that little residential area. And then I think I'm going to have to stop. Because I've been recording like maybe... A, so three and a half, four hours or something. That includes the editing that I did that I had to stop because I realised that I've only got about like eight minutes worth of usable footage. And it's so strange. I just think Project Zomboid is cursed. I like it so much. Of course there's going to be issues recording it. One of the other games that I like to play a lot, um, Crossout, which I've not done a video on for a while. That's a pain in the butt to record as well. It, um, the screen tearing is unbelievable. And there's none actually in game, but there's tons on the footage, and it's so infuriating. So I, that's always a pain in the neck to um, to edit. So I'm just gonna dismantle this. He does that so quickly; it just shocks me every time. I'm like, "Oh, it didn't work. I'm gonna have to click it again," only to realise that not only did it work, he's finished already. Just he dismantles an entire television in like ten seconds. Uh, do I have a bacon pan? I don't know. I'm going to take it anyway. Chips. I don't want the dead rat. The dead rat can stay. Food. This is all food that I can stock up. I can stockpile it and keep it for myself. Tea bag. I'm going to take the timer. I don't know if I need it. There's another empty jar. I've been finding quite a few of those, actually. Like so, um, I, I'm not again. I'm not sure if it's something that made it into the final video, but I had this whole conversation about how jars are actually more useful than you would think, due to the fact that you can preserve food in them. You can like make like pickles and whatnot. Where's the front door gone? There it is. <laughs> Oh, I lost the front door. I might actually... Oh, 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 I didn't even see that guy. Could you not be here? Thank you. No, no, no. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, he died anyway, so... I know he's already dead. I need to stop saying that the zombies have died because they're already dead. They're zombies. Uh, newspaper. No, right. Light switch? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to pick up this radio like that. I'm so hoping I can get this leveled up soon so I can steal an actual cooker. I don't know if my skills got to be three or... F like, like uh, three or four. Uh, two or three is what I was trying to say. I can't count i can't speak i can't bloody do anything today apparently i can't even make a damn video <laughs> so 
bit of a drawback for somebody who, you know, likes to make videos. It's a bit of a shame. I'm going to wear this red padded jacket. I think it will be very fetching with my purple trousers. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I check the other side of that? I don't remember. Nah. Oh, look. More food. Except for that candy cane. I'm going to eat that immediately. Uh... Again, I'm just taking anything that qualifies as food at this point. Oh, it's another empty jar. I don't know if I have a roasting pan either. And I'm going to take these bowls just... F I know I've got bowls. I just don't know how many or how long they last or anything like that. So I'm just going to take anything that I find useful. Honey? Awesome. I can put that in my tea. That's... Amazing. Right, I I'm I I think I just won this entire thing. I absolutely just won everything. Eggs? I'll take the eggs. Cold pack. I'm just taking random things at this point. I, I I give myself like a plan, like a goal for the episode, like find a barbecue or find a book or you know, find something in particular and i always end up picking up a bunch of other stuff that's unrelated just because i'm like oh oh look at this ooh, see what i mean pistol i've got a bunch of bullets and no guns so i'll take that just out of completeness um yeah time to leave time to go home and sleep because my character is very tired or just regular tired <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, guns in this in this game are not really worth it. They're not useless, but at the same time, they're not. I just walked straight past where I need to go because they make so much noise. It attracts like zombies from a ten mile radius, and it's it's it makes the situation so much worse. Can we stamp on that guy. Thank you. St stampy stampy right yeah the guns just make everything worse if you're in like a super tight bind you can just shotgun your way to freedom and hope you don't get bit in the meantime but all the time you're freeing yourself from the crowd of zombies you're just bringing more zombies so it's it's largely counterproductive <laughs> like wildly counterproductive right batteries go in there look this is where my organization pays off scrap uh light bulb <laughs> light bulbs i wonder if i can put these light bulbs in one of the cars like can i ride around with red headlights on because that would be pretty damn funny in my book uh radio receivers oh I should have just dropped that on the floor. I do have this habit of doing that in this game. Like, I'll change my clothes and then just drop the dirty ones on the floor with no real concern. There's so many... Um, so many clothes about. They're just everywhere. So it's not something that I tend to worry about. Oh, my God. There's stuff there that I need to put in one of my fridges. So I'll do that now. I do have... In one of these fridges is a bunch of stuff. Look. <laughs> So, uh, cold pack. Not really sure what they're for. Uh, I'll freeze the eggs, I guess. Still not big on the milk. I found two. Oh, and that's rotten milk as well. Not sure, because you can use that to make stuff for your farm to cure it of disease and things like that. So, um, anyway. I'm going to call that an episode while my character sleeps. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, sorry all about the weird ramblings and the edits and the things, but I'm trying to put out a video that's not like 10 minutes and then a failure and me going, oh, well, it, it, the recording failed, so deal with it. I, I want at least some kind of length to a video to give you guys the quality you deserve for subscribing. Um... Thanks for that, to those of you who have done that. <laughs> and if you haven't done that, do that. Do that now. 
But uh, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode again. Sorry for the weirdness. Sorry but for the random coughs and sniffs as well. I'm still trying to get over the last of this cold. And I uh, hope everything's going well for you. I'll be seeing you real soon.